Everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, it is Tuesday, I believe. I do believe it's Tuesday. It is July 4th. Happy 4th of July to everybody um, who's American and celebrates the life of being American. 4th of July is like the only thing in America. I think so, at least. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready for the gym. Uh, before we go to the gym, I have to go and get one stop to a certain place because... Um, my girlfriend, her name is Vera, by the way. Uh, it's hard to pronounce, I, it's kind of a weird thing to pronounce in English, but um, it's V-E-R-A, Vera. Um, it's her birthday on Sunday now. There is a little complication here because tomorrow, Wednesday, I am driving to Cologne, Germany to uh, go to the CSGO event to meet up with all the CSGO guys. And hopefully I'm back in time on Sunday to go go see her on her birthday, um, which is gonna be a very tight one. Uh, so hopefully I can make that, but it's her birthday on Sunday, so I have to do one more thing um, to get her present ready. Um, I can't tell you what it is because she's watched, she watched these videos, so I can't really say anything. Um, right now I'm getting ready to go to the gym and go to that one place to get my stuff from First, let's do my hair first So first things first, I want to say thank you for all the super nice comments and all the positive feedback that you guys left on the video It really meant a lot to me and also to her because she was really nervous for it and I was really nervous for it too for her um, I knew you guys would be super nice to her because that's not much to hate <laughs> on uh, a girl that looks that way. Um, she's so nice too, so um, yeah, obviously you guys don't know her yet, um, but you will because you got over 400 likes on the video, which means I will do a Q&A with her. I can't say when though, because I don't know yet either. But um, yeah, that will happen in the future. All right, then secondly, um, this, the Gymshark sale, there was a Gymshark sale if, Maybe it's still live tonight, you can check out the link in the description if you want to. But I want to say thank you all so much for the support on that because um, you guys copped a lot of Gymshark stuff. That was up to 50% off on certain items. So that was great. You guys did awesome on that. And then at last, I hope you guys like my new shoes. Dude, I ordered them. These are the Nike Flyknit Racers. And I think they are super clean. They're all white and I tend to keep that way. Uh, they need to stay white at least. Um, because otherwise they kind of look bad, but uh, I think they're super clean and I'm really excited because I Like these shoes. I kind of treated myself. They were kind of expensive. Usually. I don't really spend too much on shoes Usually like 50 bucks 60 bucks. This is Nike store outlet with like old pairs of Nikes They are usually like 30 to 50 bucks Perfectly fine for me, but now I spend $120 on shoes. I want to treat myself. So that's why Let's jump into the video because this video is about to be about how I build my back over the years. Uh, there's been a lot of questions. Some picture on Instagram did really, really well with my back, so decided to make a back video for you all. Enjoy the clips, enjoy the commentary, and I'll talk to you guys later. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the commentary part of this video. Today, I want to talk about um, how I pretty much built my back from the startup. I started out very skinny, as you guys know. I had no definition in my back. I had no whiteness in my back. I had nothing when I started. Uh, I was super skinny. So I wanted to go over um, some of my best tips I can give you out of experience that I liked to implement in my back training uh, to get the back uh, where it is now. I'm not saying I have a great back or anything like that, but I'm just saying I made some good progress in my back and I want to share that with you all. So the first thing I want to tell you is that you need 
immediately, right now, if you are doing it already, start with pull-ups. Uh, start with all kinds of pull-ups. Start with close grip. Start with wide pull-ups. Start with neutral grip pull-ups like I'm doing right now. Start with reverse grip pull-ups, chin-ups, whatever it is. Uh, start doing some pull-ups body weight. Uh, pull-ups are basically the greatest exercise you could do for back along with deadlifts, in my opinion. Um, but pull-ups, when you master the wide pull-ups, your lat's going to explode. That's the thing. Um, it works your lats really, really well. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend all you guys to start doing pull-ups. Um, another thing is um, that I do want to say is that I like to switch up my back training every like e almost every week almost um, every week or every two weeks I switch up my exercises uh, the reason being is the back is a very complex muscle uh, group as you could say it's um, made out of a very a varies amount of muscles so you benefit the most in my opinion by hitting it from different angles altogether so uh, doing a horizontal row doing a vertical row doing a pull-up doing a deadlift you know rowing doing pull downs um, all kinds of stuff try to do v-bar rows try to do this kind of rows bend over rows try to do deadlifts try to do pull-ups try to do chin-ups that's the best thing i can give you another one is the grip so you can either do Overhand grip, just a normal grip, where you place your thumb under the bar, just gripping it like normal overhand. Then you can do underhand, which implements a little bit more biceps, uh, but also, again, works just a different angle uh, than doing overhand. And then also you could do cup grip. I think that's called cup grip. I'm really not sure. Suicide grip or whatever. It's where your thumb is over the bar um, with a overhand grip. Now, the thing with that is, um, when you do pull downs, I tend to feel it better if I do a suicide grip or a cup grip or a hook grip. I think it's called hook grip. That's what is it. Hook grip. If I do hook grip, I tend to feel it a little bit better in my lats. Uh, but these are these are stuff that you have to play around with, right? So you can do different exercises. You could do different sets. You could do different reps. You could do different grips. Um, there's so much you could do. So that's why I definitely recommend all you guys to switch up your back routine. If you are on a plateau with your back, try some new, uh, try different grips, try straps. For example, I had a plateau for my strength on pull downs. So I bought straps or well, Gymshark sent me some straps and, um, I use straps for now with pull downs. I get a lot stronger on it. Um, I don't have to concentrate on my grip as much. So it's, for me, it's very beneficial for straps. If uh, you aren't using and you want to build some grip strength as well, then you definitely don't want to be using straps. But um, if your main focus is to gain muscle in the back, to get some extra muscle mass in the back, uh, then straps are a very good in investment. About deadlifts, yes, they are very, very important. It's like the king of exercise. Like every ex every like routine should have deadlifts in them. But I want to make a separate video on deadlifts since it's such a complex thing and it's so hard, especially when you're starting. Like I know a lot of you guys are just starting out. Um, um, it's a very hard exercise to do. So I want to make a complete and sole video on deadlifts. So please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Deuces!